Hello everybody. Okay, we're here to answer another Final Cut question. Posed to us by Merrin from Perth, Western Australia on on the email. And I give you her location merely to uh, encourage more stalkers to her Perth-based home. Sorry about that, Merrin. Um, Merrin asks, I now have two sequences. How do I overlay one over the other? We're going to attempt to answer that in this video using speech, my speech. So uh, let's go. Sequence 1, sequence 2 will open them up. Now what we want to do here is is overlay one of these sequences with the other. Uh, and we do that with a process that we call nesting. So we're going to use that term from here on in. And we just imagine for a moment that these sequences are made up of loads of different edits and not just one clip because that would make this whole thing pointless. If it were just about one clip I'd cut and paste into the other sequence easy. But uh, we'll imagine that we've got loads of different... it doesn't necessarily have to be a finished sequence either, you can edit these later and I'll show you that in a bit. But um, yeah, we'll imagine that for now. Okay, I'll close these and make things a bit easier. The first thing that we do is make an entirely new sequence uh, so we go File, New Sequence, and we'll call that Master Sequence. And that's, yeah, that's our finished product, so we'll open that up. And all we do from here, it's really, you're going to kick yourself, Marin, because we just drag these sequences in, and we'll make another track here. And of course we'll make another audio track, if a couple of audio tracks if we have stereo. And uh, drag the other sequence in as well. You can see that all just fits nicely into this master sequence. Now there we go, we've overlaid them and if this is not complete, like I said before, we can always just double click on these sequences to open them open them from here or the regular way and edit them, sort of it, go back and edit them as you usually would. So for now we'll we'll do something like, because this is a green screen shot very very quickly muck with it just so I can show you see I've made a change there and you can see in your master sequence that's actually had an effect on on the master sequence so like you can see it's kinda like a reference file anything you do one thing is going to affect the other so we'll close those sequences again and there you have it that's pretty much the gist of it and you've overlaid your sequences now you can alter this nested file in the same way you can any other file. You can use your razor blade clip to cut them up, delete bits, whatever you like. It all operates in the same way as a regular clip, only it's comprised of sort of your sequence, obviously. Alright, hopefully you've gained something out of that and it answers your question. Any other questions, of course, shoot them my way. Always happy to, well not always, I'm not always happy to answer them. I'm feeling a bit uh, annoyed. I, I may not make videos for this channel for several weeks. It's really up to me. As um, Tom says, you're getting all this for free, so, you know, don't complain. Uh, you people are pretty cool. Um, yeah, so, onward and upward, and, ooh, look at the time. I must be going and uh, getting something to eat for dinner so I'll go and do that have a good day and I'll see you on the next video that I do cheers